Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome again to Meet with the Nurse every Wednesday online assembly. So today, this is my talk, Beating the Feeling of Thirst, Staying Hydrated During Fasting. So we are into this because a lot of us may have this feeling while we are having fasting, especially to those who are in observance with Ramadan. So to start with, uh, what is thirst? Okay. So thirst is a feeling of needing or wanting to drink something. And this is from Webster's Dictionary's definition. Now, have to understand that in the survival guide, three days without water, we cannot survive. Third, basically, is the first signs of, sign of dehydration other than a very dark colored tea. So there are other, other um, symptoms of, of dehydration as well. Example, if you have a cracked lip, or um, if you are feeling dizzy, lightheaded, or starting to have a headache, or probably in, in, a, in a moderate dehydration problem, then you may probably feel like as if you feel so warm or feeling hot, or your respiration changes, your heartbeat changes. So moving forward, so how do we stay hydrated during the fast day? You may encounter crankiness, being irritable, be having um, easily get tired or having headache, or your concentration concentration level is decreasing. All it needs is drinking of water. But when you are fasting, you can uh, water is not much of an option. So what we can do would then be to please remember this that the night before, if you intend to do fasting, the fasting during the morning, then the night before you need to do hydrate yourself. Um, prepare your day for fasting in short. And so during the night, you intermittently drink water. Water is very important. So when we drink water, we are able to replenish any fluid loss or fluid imbalances in our body. Next, fashion matters. When you pick up your daytime clothes, you have to understand that the color of your shirt the thickness of your fabric or the layers of your clothing really do matter. So for those who are fasting at this time, when you are still at home, do wear something light, light color. Don't wear something dark. It matters because if you wear something dark, then you are trying to prohibit aeration inside your body. So when you are also outside and it's a sunny day, I would advise you, um, you can wear something that will protect you from too much body heat. Next, take a cold shower, okay? So what do we mean by this? When we take a shower, it will refreshen your skin, it will refreshen you as well. It will cool you down and your body temperature is low. When our body temperature is low, it means that we are not losing too much fluid in our body because we do not sweat. Just in case cold shower is not, um, it's not possible. You can you can just wash or wash your or your head down to your neck area, or get a washcloth, full washcloth, and then wet it, and then wipe your ear around your ear, around your neck, your forehead, and your face, and at the back part and at the front part. So that is a way to cool you down when you are feeling so hot on a mid um, sunny day. So you have to lessen um, your body thermal regulation. At the lower at the lower level, so you can also stay in, indoor for that. Next one would then be plan your menu. Okay, um, when we do, do you know that what we eat, what we drink, do matters? So when we are fasting, I would say that avoid sweets. So when you try to break your fast, which is what we call as iftar, I would advise you to limit your Sweets. This sweets is better is better exchange with fruits or even salads. So I would suggest that in your diet when you are fasting, avoid sweets. Good thing comes to those who sweat. So working out. Keeps a wonder, nurse. You said that we are not meant to sweat. No, no. I'm trying to say that um, we we lose fluid through sweat. But do you know that when we sweat? Our body also removes the toxins and the not so good chemicals that could even further on our dehydration along the way. So that's why even when we do fast, a mild exercise would then be okay. Sweating is okay, but in not 
not in extreme level. And after you sweat or before you start your fasting, then you need to replenish by drinking water um, to create balance to create or counterbalance the, the effect of thirst after you had your exercise or your, or your workout. So remember, fasting is not for everyone and fasting isn't safe for everybody, but it all depends on how you manage your fasting. So if you do it, your fasting right, then everything will be okay. So that's it. And so thanks everyone. If you have any questions about this presentation, you can email me or if you have any suggestions as to the next assembly, I would highly appreciate it. Thank you.